Bubble tea, bubble tea. Put, 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 put the cheese brulee. Yes. Yes. I can't have anything else. Wow. I Something wrong. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's valid. I felt that when I drank the first sip. People love bubble tea so much and we have been very validated from our reviews in the previous episode. So we decided yep. we are going to do more as a service to our community. Oh, mm, and I everybody, you're welcome for my recommendation. Yeah. And also because a lot of people say, why you never tried this brand? Why you never tried this brand? So, so we try. We all try. try. We Honestly. are going to try some of the episodes that you guys have recommended and the drinks that you all recommended today. You said so episode. You said episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just excited. So we think, the yeah. brand. So we ran a poll in our community for what people would want us to try next. And the top voted one was actually Chazi. Ah. But unfortunately, ah. because Chazi has since rebranded to MST and allegedly their ingredients have changed. They yes. rebranded? They rebranded and ah. it apparently tastes different. But the real Chazi is coming back to Singapore on the 17th of August. Never mind, Honestly, we go right. for... Oh, I went Chazi. all the way to JB to try this thing, right? Uh. I went back recently and I just didn't feel the pull to want to try another drink. Wow, that yeah. good. Is that bad? <laughs> that bad. <laughs> okay, but I, I didn't want to, and there was no queue this time, but the drinks are too varied already. And then only uh. that one thing, their most popular item is the one that you should try. Mm. And it wasn't like, you know. I want to say good. about queues, right? You know, the the very popular Taiwanese brand, Sinfu Tang? Mm -hmm. Am I saying it right? Oh, yes. Yes. When you go to a uh, Simen Ting in, uh, <laughs> Simen in, Ting. Simen Ting in Taiwan, right? Mm -hmm. They actually got two Simfu Tangs right next to each other. Oh. But yeah. one right will have a 40 minute queue. One will be completely empty. Why? Because oh, okay. one right is like flagship. The other one, I think right, franchise one. Why when would they choose to be there? <laughs> because the queue very long, you might think that, hey, oh, I don't split up, split up. Split up. Split up. Split up. Like people know. Uh -huh. So it's behind the alley, right? I'm behind the alley. Eh, also a famous brand. <laughs> when, we, when we went into the area, we were like, hey, people don't know about this and site. Then, then, uh, then we thought, okay, hey, faster, yeah. we buy here. Then we call our friend, hey, get out of the queue. <laughs> la. Come Loops, here. Come here. The quality difference, right? It's like night and day. Yeah. Ah. Like one I will pay $20 for, the other I wouldn't even pay to oh. drink. Wow. Okay, sick food time is also not in today's episode, but oh. don't worry, we can try next time if you really but want that one us not to. Bubble tea. Huh? Huh? It is, got that one is no tea. Yeah. And the milk it's is fresh milk shook. with brown sugar pearl. Yeah, it's no tea. Okay, okay. we put milk. it in all the irrelevance in the next. <laughs> 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 we put it with all the yeah, difficult fact, to classify as bubble tea. Like the tiger tea or something, yeah. right? Tiger tea. Nice. There's this tiger shop that sells sugar. <laughs> tiger sugar. Tiger, sugar. tiger tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah tiger yeah, yeah. sugar. Same, same. Never mind. We move on to the second most voted one in our community, and ah. that is a brand that I've never heard of. It's called Holin. Yeah. I love Holin. A lot of people what say. Is Holin? Uh, I thought it was Holix, but people like say. <laughs> I thought it's a Western food chain, the but it's Holin. I know Holin. Is just, like Playmates competition oh, because they do the. That's huge. Right? <laughs> 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 so Playmates was our episode <laughs> from episode one, okay, and this so is apparently Playmates competitor. At the episode, right, I didn't try Playmates. Since then, right, I ordered it twice. It's good, so good. good. Oh my gosh, you're welcome. You are really and right. So guys, you guys, you're welcome again. Anyway, yeah. Holins. Before we go any further, like we said, we have bought the teas that you're recommended. Amazing. So do we have the Holin one today? Yes, yes we do. We, we do. brought two Holin. of their most famous drinks. So our community members said we must try things from their Rock Salt <laughs> Macchiato series. The Black Don't Tea Rock Macchiato. Salt Macchiato with Honey Pearls. It looks Yay. fantastic. And of course, we can't miss out the classic milk tea. So we have an Earl Grey milk tea with us as well. Earl Grey with Konjac. Jolly. Corn or ori oh. Original Konjac. So Konjac. Honey Pearls are actually available every day at Holin. But what is special about them, and this is the part where they fight Playmate, is that every single day they have handmade different flavored pearls. For example, on Monday is Osmantus, Tuesday Osmantus. strawberry, Wednesday matcha, Thursday coca, Friday lychee, Saturday rock salt, and Sunday peach. Okay. I went there for the strawberry pearls with green milk tea, and it was very nice. But you must wait until next Tuesday before you this can drink so it again. This is so difficult because what if like my wife like one flavor, I like another one, then we cannot <laughs> go on the same days. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> And I'm a bit tilt. How come they're not in the West? That's why I don't know. Tilt, uh. ah. Yeah. Tilt, oh. Tilt, oh. Tilt, oh. Tilt. But I feel like it's a strategy. It's like, it makes you look forward like Tuesday, strawberry. Oh, you have to go twice also. You go Tuesday for your wife, you go Wednesday for yourself. Yeah. So on the, the packaging, it's very cute, right? They have, uh, they, they print some lines here, okay? May no, your yeah, troubles yeah. be bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Chew your troubles away. Oh, that's so cute. So Holin actually means how her in Hokkien. So Holin, 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 Holin
So we should uh, put that to the test. Yes. Uh, yes oh, yes. I'm gonna sip. One sip, all sip ready, then we ah, review. Okay. But okay. we only got one straw because we saved the environment. So got no also, more pedal pop. Also, is ah. anyone else sick today? <laughs> no, I brought, I brought a small cup and spoon. And Why? Spoon. Oh, nice accent. Just Ay, how we just suck? Ah? You don't say that, please. Who's saliva conscious? Me, that's why I have this. Okay, okay. Okay. You jump okay. off first. <laughs> the most <laughs> he ate milk after that. The most it tastes different. <laughs> We're trying the Earl Grey milk tea oh, yeah. first. Okay. Don't express, ah. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Final one. No expression. Are we going to try individually and rate, or are we going to try both two items from this brand and then we rank the brand? I think you need to try the other one. <laughs> so we fast forward this shit, ah. Huh? <laughs> mm. No, neutral, neutral. No, 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 no. no. Okay, so this one. Don't say we anyhow. This is really we we trying it for the first Guys, time here. Wait, 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 wait. I'll show you all the the cream. This is the consistency. Oh. Look at the look at the consistency. Oh. It peaks. Okay. Okay, how about uh, Shams tell us the price while she proceeds oh, right, right, with right. this okay. tasting going on? Do you want to make a guess or should I just tell you? Just the tell. Price? Okay, <laughs> these two, they are six dollars each. Oh, size. but these are the prices on Grab. Yeah, on Grab. So, so it's it sure slightly like cheaper whatever. in real life. It you averages are, about five dollars for all Holland drinks. If you're yeah. ordering it, you're probably ordering it on uh, true. delivery. Okay. Who here likes the drinks? For Ooh, someone who doesn't like milk in the tea, right? I think this is really not bad. The Earl Grey especially. I cannot taste the Earl Grey. Ah. You taste the Earl Grey in the Earl Grey milk tea? Can I try again? I can taste yeah. the Earl Grey, but the jelly, no. And $6 for this, I can make. <laughs> I was very disappointed. I was oh, also very disappointed. I think it was okay. I, I like okay, it. if you all like Earl Grey tea, right? This is the real shit. Go to Marks and Spencer and get their <laughs> Earl Grey tea. And then go uh -huh. and get the Meiji fresh milk. Uh -huh. Put together. Topping? No topping. Topping? Please. <laughs> 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 okay, 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 okay. I think I needed the second drink because I think the first drink was a little bit disappointing. Which one do, do people recommend? The uh, macchiato. One is a bestseller okay, okay. and one is a uh, community oh. recommendation. The, the macchiato one was a lot better for me, but also because I went and tasted the macchiato and the macchiato is nice. The, the right amount of salt, mm. I think it was very well balanced. Can almost compare it with koi. I think mm. the koi one is just a little bit thicker. Uh, but this one, the taste is not bad. But the ugly one did, did not do it But I was terribly disappointed ah. by these pearls. Mm. Yeah, the, yeah, the honey flavor went into the drink and didn't mm. cling onto the pearl. Yeah. Yeah. So like Playmate did it right, they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. And it takes yeah. me three days to chew this. Honestly, right? Like no you offense. said you tried Playmate after our first episode, right? Mm. Yeah. How does it rate this based on the impact that it, the like, drink has on you? You know what I mean? Absolutely right. Like, I think the Playmate pearls, right? Because I finished my drink already and I was left with like a quarter cup of just pearls, right? I was just eating it because the pearls Whoa. itself was so flavorful. Such a gift. It, <laughs> it's a gift that keeps giving. <laughs> um, I would pay for three fifty four dollars for this. Mm. I wouldn't pay six bucks. I think bucks, six bucks uh. is a bit much. Wow. Okay, yeah. okay. Wow. I will go somewhere else. For, for this one. I think that Holland kind of prides themselves on their tea taste. Yeah. And to me, that falls short in comparison to other ones that I have tried. Mm. Oh, I thought it was refreshing. Yeah, the okay, one. okay. I quite like it. I, I, I quite like it actually, but after I drink this, then right. I go back to this and suddenly I think the Earl Grey doesn't. Okay. Right. It's nice. Oh, another, ah. okay. So for Earl Grey lovers, another drink hack uh, is Tin Tai Fung's Earl Grey Ice Lemon Tea. Mm. Okay. Order and thank me later. Again, they used to do it this way. I don't know whether they still do it now, but they serve it in a, in a, in a, in a glass. And the ice that they use, use is, is like a ball of ice. And the ice, right, is the tea. So as it melts, it doesn't dilute over the course of your meal. The intensity of the drink remains the same. And the flavor, on point. Okay. And they're generous with the lemons. The lemons. Huh? But holy, 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 Mm. But I feel like the strawberry pearls really got that distinct strawberry flavor when I took a bite. Mm. And it wasn't that expensive. Like, I don't remember paying like $6 for a cup. Like, I remember paying like 4 to $5. Yeah. In store, it's about 4 to $5. Yeah. Okay, close enough. So I feel like for that amount of money I pay, right, I think it's like quite worth the fact that I'm getting a level up pearl, like not just like a normal mm. black mm. pearls okay. and like okay. a normal milk tea. Okay. So All let right. us vote as the official bubble tea connoisseurs of Singapore. We represent everybody <laughs> and course. all brands. Believe. Hey, what happened to our stick? I really think we need we, a we stick. Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. The energy off. Bring it back. We need the one, two, three. Bring it back. Bring it back.
right. Okay, guys, okay. maybe in future when we have more budget, rating, we upgrade rating. our props, okay? What One, is wild? Okay. two, three. C. C. Huh. Average at us. Huh? Oh, he purposely I'm not ordering pool. this shit again. He want to pull it down to a D. Yeah. I think it's too expensive. Okay. So the average between the CB is... It's a C. Lo. It's a C plus. Then this drags it down two times. You just purposely want to break it down. <laughs> so it's a D You just say it's a democracy and it's no one plus. D for democracy. <laughs> <laughs> so based on the no, list that, that we previously had, this is better than Kong Cha. Yes. Yeah. And yes. better than what's the other one? Liho. Yeah. The new menu, yeah. So this is a C. La. C. Yeah. Okay. La. C. I would like to say that because most of us have not tried Holland, right? So our ranking is just based on these two drinks. But on their website, it does say that they strive to achieve optimum taste at minimum sugar level. So the tea can taste good even without sugar. Mm. So maybe mm. if we had tried that authentic tea, right, we would have gotten that. But these are already less proper. sugar. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's the as so, minimum as we can go. And, and it's quite sweet, to be honest. It is, yeah. it is. Yeah. Okay, the next dish. Dish. dish we didn't buy it today, but we don't need to because this one needs no introduction. It is oh. sweet talk. Oh. <laughs> oh. So a lot of people say we never do the classic one in the uh. previous episode and we didn't forget about it. We just thought that there were bigger brands, but never mind. So back in the early 2000s, you would see sweet talk branches under pretty much every HDB block near you. But now it has kind of dwindled with the influx of competitors and there are only a few stores left across the island found in Aogang, Pasaris, Tampanese, Woodlands and Bukit Panjang. Oh, oh really? Oh. Really ulu places lah. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 they have less than 10 stores left lah. I remember seeing just like a random bubble tea shop in a random under a void deck. Mm. Like that used to be like mm. bubble tea. Yeah. But now it's like in malls. No, you they know? used to be yeah. part of the bread shop. Then they also sell yeah. waffle. Yeah. 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 And then no. the flavor is like either powder one or like they squeegee, squeegee the flavor. Yeah. Yeah. No, then last time it's all the blenders will be in front. Yeah. Mm. So it's eye some random syrup bottles with the red cap. Yeah. 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 Then the yeah. Oreo crush is just a bunch of Oreos water oh, ice and my yeah. favorite. Mm. But Oreo yes. ice blended. <laughs> and yes. the milk tea is always pre-made in the fridge. They're just pouring it. It's how Milo is made nowadays yeah. in coffee shop. No, but the crazy thing is as I was researching, right, someone said that, guys, the milk tea was $1.20. And it's $1.30 with taping. Exactly. It's cheaper than taping. Because their competition is but right now, most of their drinks still kind of average around like two to three dollars. So they are still the more budget friendly mm. option. Mm. But there are people that say that as compared to, you know, the Koi's and the Liho's that we know today, Sweet Talk is more artificial tasting because, you know, they just make it out of all these like but syrup and one. milk rather than actual brewing tea. Yeah. No, yeah. but I feel like Sweet Talk, no. right? Every drink fails the Nutri-Grid. <laughs> No, but no, you can see their name or not. It's just, it's sweet. <laughs> it's just pure syrup uh. in the very plasticky bottles. Yeah, 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 and then yeah. milk, just add milk tea. Sweet talk pearl is also the cannot digest kind. So I uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean cannot digest? You chew for if three spit, years. Like last time I remember, I walked at the pavement and right, we shoot yeah. the pearl. Right, then I see the pearl stuck under the pavement. <laughs> the pavement. One week later, I walked past the pearl still there. Yeah. 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 No, but it's the you. first pearl, pearl I ever known, you know. Mm. Yeah, it's the first pearl I've ever known. Is it a nostalgic ever? Effort. So, what are your thoughts on Sweet Talk and how would you rate it? Um, for wow. the mango ice blender with pearls, I rate it 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> for the Oreo ice blender with pearls, I also rate it 10 out of 10. Do Oreo they have ice by low? Oreo peppermint <gasps> with uh, pearl. Wow. Oh, okay. okay la. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, think, I think they are known for the ice blender. They are ice yeah. blender. Yeah, 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 they are yeah. milk tea a bit sus. So Sweet Talk's best sellers are apparently their peppermint milk tea and blue Ooh. coral ice blender. Yeah. Bro, I want to say I remember the blue <laughs> coral <laughs> drink. When you drink your friend's mouth, you can see the tea with your blue color. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I, until now, today, right, I don't know what is it. Eh. Somebody said they diarrhea come out also blue. Oh, what is it? Just syrup, is it? Or like <laughs> I brought it for coloring. <laughs> yeah, just for coloring. Oh my god! But we oh. didn't buy it today. Oh. We got budget, guys. You see our props. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay oh but but the regardless, at least we got strong. Based on our strong memory, we were red sweet talk. Three, two, one. <sighs> D la. <laughs> oh, okay lah. So it averages out to a C. C. Oh, same as Holland. Oh, <laughs> I think it's a D plus. I think it's a high D. Can we put it in between C and D? Yeah, it's like, a yeah, C, yeah, yeah. It's like at C. The, at the line, you know, like the, the price. You can get three of Sweet Talks compared to one of Holland. Yeah, you, but you drink three Sweet Talks, you die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you die, then you drink three. <laughs> you should come out with green okay. blue. Oh. <laughs> Rabak. Okay. You can treat your friends. Or at least you only buy for yourself. Plus, Are you really uh? treating your friends? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serving them in their centers? <laughs> I'm joking, sweet talk. Yeah. Are they your we friends? You, but don't sponsor, don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> you need to say, you can buy. 
Okay. <laughs> During the sweet talk era. Okay. Each a cup. Yes. Oh my god. I love each cup. Come at the same time. Uh, I love each cup. They were popular yeah. around the same okay, time. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Each a cup is an upgrade. Right? It's an upgrade. It was in the way in malls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, each a cup, right? It's the Liho of last time. Because mm. yeah, they are yeah, the yeah. innovative and then they have yeah. the different huh. flavors. They look so fun. They were in Plaza Singh. They sound fun also, each a cup. We have it today, but Yay. before we go into it, let me just share with you this story because I actually found an uh, interesting founder story. Okay. Ooh. So it's actually written by Joyce. Shout out, Joyce. Hey. Back when she was at CNA. This guy actually used to be a musician. And then one of the places that he would tour is Taipei. And he decided that he liked this place. And he wanted to, st- when he wanted to start a business, he decided that this would be a good uh, home ground. Mm. Yeah, but he actually started making ice cream first. Mm. And then one day there was a customer and then the customer turned into a friend and eventually said, why don't we open like some healthy drink store? Mm. Healthy? So they opened a drink store called Healthy 2000 oh. and they oh. grew to over 10 outlets in Taiwan offering various wellness concoctions. So like different kinds of like fruit tea, oh. fruit juice, that kind oh. of oh. mixtures. Yeah. Like so you can kind of see where their roots are from. And then okay, that was okay. when he realized that in Singapore, we are like lagging behind the trend. Uh. Mm. So then he kind of saw the market open up and then he came back to Singapore and he started each a cup. I like how he didn't bother with the healthy one in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so two years after he came back, people don't like bubble tea already because mm. there were so many stores that started spawning yeah, yeah, yeah. within that period of time, right? Yeah. That a lot of the drinks started becoming rubbish. So mm. there's no quality control that everybody just want to open a bubble tea shop. And then like, it's like their iced coffee blended tastes like water, you know? Mm, it's like it's a egg. quote from him. Mm. So within that year, he closed 35 each a cup outlets and lost 400k. Wow. And oh, then 400K? he had 35 outlets to he close. He had 50. Oh, wow. And then wow. closed 35 and then left with 15 outlets. And then these 15 outlets, tahan, tahan, tahan until 2003, right? And then they slowly started rebuilding and now they have more than 50 outlets. So that's more than they used to have. Oh. And they offer a large variety of fresh tea, ice blended smoothies, yogurt, drinks, snow shakes, coffee, and creative fresh juices. And even have a, each a brew concept which is like they go and brew tea for you on the spot. Oh. So today we have green apple sunrise with yogurt pop and oh. this is strawberry milk tea. They're actually quite creative because I remember <laughs> them last time for more basic drinks. Yes. Like yeah. the conjac jelly and all this, right? I feel like they started it. Mm. And then now when you go and see their whole menu, right? It's uh, very complicated. I mix yeah. everything, all the different flavor. Yeah. I honestly don't recall this brand. Like, huh? like in my head, right? This brand was like the I, I cannot find any other thing. And then around the corner, there's a bubble tea shop. Then you just go and mm. buy. Like, it's not oh. like a, I'm going to each a cup to get this each a cup drink. My, my friend swears by the chocolate ice blend. Chocolate ice Which blend. Which I don't have today, unfortunately. To me, right, each a cup feels like it's in the mid tier when it comes to pricing. So it's not like super yeah. cheap, like sweet top, but it's not like super expensive. So then it feels affordable as a student. You are right. Drink. So their average cost is also about four to five dollars in store, mm. but they their most expensive drink is eight dollars and twenty cents. What? Whoa. The heck? It is Jesus. A, a one liter cup oh. of strawberry oh. jelly oh. fresh grape okay, juice. Okay, yes, okay. please. Yeah. So that's one five dollars for a cup lah. It's two drink lah. Yeah. It's not each, uh, it's it's each a cup, but still wow. Yeah. Okay. Because he only Cause one it's only <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we are going to try it. Okay, what okay. are you waiting for? So this one on top, they also write something. Uh. <laughs> Wait, like. So apparently this is like maybe a healthier option uh, of their on their sh- menu. The strawberry milk tea is their healthier option. It says promote detox of fat burning, keeps your stomach full longer, good if you are watching your intake. If you are watching your intake, don't drink bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, kidding. Everything in moderation. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, no reaction. You no reaction. I feel like I can buy this in the supermarket, like strawberry milk. Mm. Whoa, it's the, white the pearls. pearls. Yeah, I think I should have stir. Super cow. I, I think, think I drink one whole chunk right, of just the strawberry syrup. I think it's 20%. <laughs> <laughs> I think I drink 18%. <laughs> I, I love it for a very strange reason. It reminds me right of, oh. you know, you go to McDonald's, then you order the strawberry uh, syrup, uh, ice cream, right? Oh. Then you forgot about it and then you let it dilute a little bit. And then you mix everything. <laughs> it's it exactly, exactly how it is. Oh. Yeah. It's so accurate. Perfect. Perfect. It was way thicker than I expected. I think maybe because the oh. previous just two drinks that yeah. we had were way lighter, right? Yeah. Then this one feels like the strawberry taste is like cow. The pearl has an interesting <laughs> bite to it. Mm. Because oh, I like the pearl. The pearl is actually really nice. The pearl is nice. Like, it's uh, El Dante, I don't know. <laughs> El Dante. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> this it's not chewy. It. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, almost yeah. like a crunch to ah. it that you can bite through, mm. right? Like yeah, it's yeah. more jelly like this. It's a mixture of the conject jelly, but mm. pearl taste. <laughs> <laughs> she drinking like what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> you know the dessert that we have like this color. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't like it. Okay, okay, this one okay, is yeah, green, green apple. Green apple yogurt. So if I'm not wrong, the yogurt pop actually refers to the pop. pearl. Ew. <laughs> 
The yogurt thing is like, like that. No, 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 that's no, not the yogurt. No, the yogurt is inside the pearl. Huh? It popped and I got a burst of yogurt in my mouth. Huh. You want to try again? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one on this table. I love it. I love all of it. I think because I love like very flavorful flavor. <laughs> like just... It all tastes like melted ice cream. Yeah. This is the Solero, the green mm, and the white one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this one way more than the previous one. Oh, you do, oh. You're like, the, this is a you're you're like drink. having to solo the leftover plastic bag, man. <laughs> like after you pop the ready, right, the skin oh, feel like, like plastic bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh plastic I thought bag. it was my lips, the skin. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oops. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> for this film, film. Yeah. But I like it. I like it. Yeah. I like it. It tastes like jelly. What's the Nutri-Grade rating though? Because I feel like it's <laughs> what, what, what is after it F? It tastes like jelly. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are so used to the more complex flavors and the like, the, the, you but, know that, what the tea must have the very good tea taste mm. and the milk must be the very rich taste, all that, right? Then now all this time a bit like, Play, play, like toy food like that. But it's not wrong. It's, it's not, not wrong. wrong. I can see it's There's appeal. For that. No, I understand why now I like this. Because as you're saying all that, right? Not appealing to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you also like Playmate. Yeah. Hey, hello. Hey. 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 That's on both worlds. Ah. I sent you the TikTok. <laughs> okay, so now that we have tried it. <laughs> yes, man, man. He knows what he likes. Okay, okay. Let's vote for each a cup. Okay, ready. Okay, one, two, three. Wow. No lah. Hey, no, a. put S. Believe in yourself. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's not S still. So I think it averages to a- D. Wow, tough. Wow. It's a D lah, it's a D D la. plus. Okay. It's just, it's a combination of what you get, the price, one, where you three, can find it. Boom, boom, and I think it's quite consistent average. across different outlets. Like the each a cup that you try. That's because when you don't need to brew the tea. <laughs> <laughs> you the same machine. If you're not looking not to be a tea connoisseur and you're looking to get just a flavor in your mm. mouth, I mean, also, if you are looking for, for the tea, go to each a brew. And their which service, is their tea version. The or service not other. best also. The level grumpy aunties behind. I think lady. their marketing so it's need to improve. Elder workers. No, but I think this yeah. is not a good representation. Okay, so. This is their best seller. With oh. that said, each a cup is an E. Okay. <laughs> the next tea is going to be a quick one because I like the grandmother story that I have managed to find for each a cup. IT. I oh my God. IT. They have yes. no information of them online. I, the only thing that I can find, right, is that they have, they've been around since 2011. They have 40 plus outlets and their average pricing is $4. I love them. They're the best. Mm. When you're going, <laughs> they don't give a you know what's between <laughs> each a cup and sweet talk is IT. No, no, I think it's above each a cup. IT. IT is above. IT is sweet talk, each a cup. No, but I read somewhere, right, that IT milk tea cannot. It's very, very sus. You go there for their non-milk. Ah, uh, don't you don't go there for milk. Yeah, yeah, you don't go there for milk. Is this brand <laughs> voted by the community? Like they, they are like, hey, go drink IT. Why you never review IT? Even if they never, I will say go drink IT. Yeah. Really? Uh? Yeah. yeah. Wait, who here is like a IT person? Okay, no, I, I wouldn't I, say I'm an advocate. No IT is the best. It's a definite B at least for but me. But okay, if okay, it's okay. near me, right, I'll be very happy. Mm, we just wow. put this in context. Our previous office that was at Bendermere, right, they had like maybe three or four different bubble tea stores and some were closed, some were reopened, some were whatever. The IT was the one consistent one that will always have people going there. Mm. And, and drinking it. They also sell dessert, like nine fresh, that kind of dessert. Ah, yeah. And they always come up with new flavors. Like randomly there'll be, a, and not just like one or two, it's a new board of like, wow, new yeah. flavors. Creative. All they even sudden. have a Milo section. So oh, just different yeah. variations. Milo ice Milo. blend, caramel Milo, hazelnut Milo, peppermint Milo, Milo like macchiato, like. Milo latte. Mm, my favorite order <laughs> IT is the passion fruit Aloe vera. The oh, aloe vera is so yeah. good. But IT, I'm a bit biased because I only try one drink all which the is, time. Which is the aloe vera honey lemon IU. IU. The amount of things that people put into a drink now, right? Yeah, yeah. It's no, like, it's, it's so good. good. It's, it's, it's like it's ice jelly. It's ice honey lemon. Then they add the aloe vera beets, right? So yeah. it's crunchy. And then they have like one block of IU yeah. jelly. So when you drink, right, it's like, wow. So you then pop. Then suddenly the jelly will come your mouth. Then you choo, 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 choo. IG's <laughs> best sellers on the internet are peach green tea with white pearls, oh, peppermint yes. milk tea, and mint chocolate tea. Huh? Mint chocolate. Huh. I can work with it. It's like after eight, sir. Uh. After eight. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, last but not least for today. Ah. Guys, don't worry, we can do a part three and maybe we will have more oh, budget then that we can try more drinks. Yay, what other food, what other drink you want us to try? Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> go for expensive don't oh, struggle uh, <laughs> okay last but not least we have R&B tea mm. huh? never tried oh, it. I've never oh, heard of it. they are most famous for their brown sugar drinks and they they claim that they have sold the first <laughs> cup of brown sugar boba milk in Singapore before Sinfu Tang wow. before the tiger on milk first thing. of February 2018 starting the immense trend that swept the nation according wow. to their website according to their website what is R&B mm. no, what is no, R&B like the it really is oh. Oh. <laughs> R&B stands for their Taiwanese owners' names, Rex and Bruce. So this story is that Bruce, he was in the IT industry. He moved to Suzhou in China for work in 2005. And then he's like, oh my God, I'm so stressed. I have so much work. And then I crave for delicious food and different beverages, especially the tea from my homeland, Taiwan. He go and try everything. Then he's like, I just can't find this Taiwan taste. Why don't I start it myself? Right. And then he created R&B tea. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Taiwanese guy named Bruce. He had to find R person. <laughs> but he is Bruce T. <laughs> oh, his Close. partner Rex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have T Rex <laughs> and Bruce T. <tea. laughs> They're never gonna get away from this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the good news is that we have their drinks today. So we have with us their yeah, this is so expensive, yeah. Whoa. Oh. This, this is, is this is known as the mighty Luffy. The mighty or Luffy. 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 Luffy one This piece is Luffy. baby. Means there is a mighty which is bigger than this. You're gonna like this. And then oh. they have their famous brown, brown sugar. sugar boba milk with creme brulee. <gasps> and, no, no. Cheese brulee. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Teo Lima, correct? <laughs> Teo Ice Limau. Yeah. Ah, can I use so it's Teo, Teo Lima Ice. Teo Ice Limau. Because <laughs> it's a Teo Ice first, then you add Limau. <laughs> there is this aftertaste that you need to look out for. This is baby. Sun Chim Bing. 7.30. Sun Chim Chinese. This is why we couldn't buy sweet talk, guys. <laughs> how to, these are how to drink. Those still got the top. Like that, then. Oh, shit. Top. Huh. On top is the cheese. Good night, Ali. She makes it. I no, no, the needs makes one time. Oh. No, but wait, I drink still have. I'll still have, uh. mm. It's a full whole watermelon. Oh. It's a full whole, 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 whole. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's a whole watermelon piece. Okay, meanwhile, let me share what is inside the baby Luffy, okay? Uh, an assortment of tropical fruits Hello. such as watermelon, oh. lime, lemon, freshly squeezed oranges, included with Hawaiian red tea. Okay, okay, okay. I start nice first. That one. When you drink all three layers okay, together, yeah. I think it's not too bad. I think the cheese foam is okay, not too strong. Because I personally don't like too much of the cheese taste. I think the brown sugar pearl is okay. But the milk, right, is just normal milk from the supermarket. But the- He finished the cheese already. But oh the, shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the, I cannot get it. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But the fruit tea thing, right? You cannot taste the grass, man? I love it. I like. feel like it tastes like I eat The closer it is to eh. the grass, right? The- <laughs> I love the green. No, you can't like taste the cow. garden. Uh. It's yeah. like they never wash the fruit. Uh. You, you see that even the design here got the leaf. That's the thing you're tasting, I think. I absolutely love both of them. Like, oh, to the max. Oh, to the yeah. I love this. Yeah, oh. I love this. Nice. I love this so, so, why, so, why? so much. Like, I think these are my f- new favorites. No, what? How is this no, better than like the other brown sugar for milk tea? No, it's like creamy. Yeah. Mm. But then there's a, like, a hint sort of, of cheese. Just yeah. suddenly when you eat the brown sugar pearl, yeah. it's like another dimension. Then it's like, oh my God. The, you know why? Because we both got another cheese already. The, oh. the most important thing for me was to first taste it right before the, before the pearl because the pearl is brown sugar. So yeah, I didn't yeah. want it to overpower. Mm-hmm. I tasted both. I was like, this is the right amount of flavor for me. Like I love it. Yeah, and then so after good. I tried one time with the pearl, I was like, I used to love Sinfu Tang. I love this more yeah. now. <laughs> no way. You like this more than Sinfu Tang. I think Sinfu so. Tang. I think so. Because that's of the cheese. The cheese was yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah, yeah, a whole yeah. different no, I agree, element. I agree. The cheese is makes it unique. So I think I'm just being nitpicky mm. about the milk thing. But like I said, everything else to me goes together very well. And I would say that if you like brown sugar, fresh milk drinks, mm. you should try this. Mm. Yeah, you yeah. should. The creme brulee, you def- it definitely comes true. And it was a flavor that I didn't think I needed in brown sugar drink. And now I can't, I can't have anything else. I think. No, it's in. valid. I, I felt that when I drank the first sip. Right. I held it in. I was like, oh my God, this is the, that good. I came in wanting to hear R&B <clears throat> because like, everyone thought about it. Uh, like, yeah, it's uh, overhyped. Uh, uh, I want uh, to like, yeah taste and really tell people that I don't like it and I, I can't. Guys, this is why I saved it for the last. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's, it's crazy for $7.30 though. The, the wow. prices actually average around $4 for their medium size this and $5 plus for large in store. Okay, okay, I think the only thing weird is they have the my happiness level 
And then the oh, so it goes down as your drink. And I get it. I'm a bit slow today. Oh wow! But the design just impressed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cute. One, two, three. B. B A B B A A S. It is an A. Wow. A R M B. This is two leagues above Playmate for me. The try Playmate. Playmates oh, S. Oh, 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 no, 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 Yes. Oh, they should add salt. Rock salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pour a bit hard. Yeah. yeah. But the brown sugar Around very it. nice. The brown mm. sugar very nice. Like, don't have that bitter. But after the taste of the brown sugar thingy, right? The Sinfu Tang, I think, nicer. It feels more caramelized and like mm. complex. Mm. I, this one is yeah. a, bit, a bit flat. It's just sweet. Yeah. No, yeah. this one is just the texture. I don't like it. Mm. I, I like Sinfu Tang's one because there's a bird, bit bird. There's a bird. There's a bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's a bit more burnt. I think in a good way. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's why I kind of like this because it's a bit milder. Like the Sinfu Tang one, I always struggle to finish the whole thing. I see, I see. I like oh, the first. Right? Yeah, Pucha but this one I can yeah, finish yeah. the whole thing. Okay. Okay. And before we end today's ranking, it's time for painting of the episode. Alison, yes. help me with the painting. Meanwhile, we do want to share that the Daily Catch-Up as part of Gravity Media is proudly supporting Shaping Hearts, which is an all-inclusive arts festival showcasing works from artists with disabilities in Singapore. And today's work is by Brenda, who has been diagnosed with a mild in intellectual disability and she likes to express herself through sketching and drawing things that she observes in her daily life. And today she has actually painted on a plate which is quite an interesting medium. Tell us more Alison. Yes, so this painting is called Venda Miss Joachim and it's our national flower mm. of Singapore. And the reason why she decided on this flower is because it remains resilient throughout the year because it blooms all year round. Mm. And she wanted it to represent our use for staying resilient despite our conditions and and that we continue to grow. Yes. So if you would like to check out more meaningful art pieces like this and hopefully cook one for your new home or your beauty already beautiful home, you can check out Shaping Hearts on 19th of October at our Tampanese Hub. We will be there and yes. we hope to see you there. Put it back, please. Okay. So we've come to the end of our bubble tea part two. I think we've tried pretty much most of the brands in Singapore. We want to move on. Let us know what else we should rank uh, other foods and maybe we will revisit this one day. You can leave out your comments down below. If it's really fierce, mm. we might think about it. Somebody Even say what ranks school uniform. Uh. Hey. Oh, not a bad idea. I think your school uniform. There's some really ugly I have a lot there. of things to say about them. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you in the next episode. Like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye. Do you guys remember last time they had a peel fresh drink, apple aloe? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Last time, now it's not a hand one. It still exists. It's always $1 like $1 something. No, last time it's was so $1. Good. Now it's one for two. Was it peel fresh or marigold? Peel fresh have marigold, so have also $1. Hey, no, isn't it marigold peel fresh? It's no. the same brand. Eh? Oh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the other brand?